Ben Simmons is the thing that everyone is talking about uh, in NBA circles right now. And he's seemed to be linked to 25 teams in the NBA and the Raptors are one of them. Do you want him? And if so, what would the package look like? Uh, what do you think the most realistic package is? What do you think is fair value for him? And as a side question, do you see him playing for the Sixers come the start of the season or do you think he's going to get moved? So, yeah, would I want him on the Raptors? No. Do I think it would happen or has the likes to happen? No, because, you know, I think a report came out today. The Raptors are very interested in him still, but the Sixers weren't wowed with whatever the Raptors offered. And the only way the Sixers are going to be wowed and do a deal with the Raptors, we already saw, is that the Raptors put up with those unrealistic needs that the Sixers have of trading away half the team to get Ben Simmons, who I think is very overrated. Like, we're not departing – with a Siakam and OG for Ben. It's not going to happen. Sorry, Sixers. So I'm okay with this, you know, rumor going and the Raptors not having any part with Ben Simmons. I'm surprised we're still talking about this. Like, you know, some of these news outlets who are continuing to report on it. Cause I don't think there's, you know, a chance at this point that Simmons does land on the Raptors. Um, but to answer your other question, I think Simmons does start the season with the Sixers just because Maury does have very unrealistic uh, trade ideas but I do think something could happen closer to the deadline. And I think this could be a similar situation to the James Harden one where Simmons does start. There's so much weirdness and animosity that happens on that locker room that the Sixers just get to a point early on in the season where they have to trade them. So it either happens before the deadline or at the deadline. And I think eventually we'll see the Sixers and Simmons part ways. But if I was a Betty man, I would say that he does start the season with the Sixers because I think it's, fair to say the Sixers do want Damian Lillard. I think that's their ideal target, but Portland does not want to give up on that notion yet of, of having Damian Lillard, but even them, you know, they have another interesting situation. If they kind of get off to a bumpy start, Dame starts to get even more frustrated. Can we see Lillard be on the move early in the season? And then could that be a potential trade? So I, uh, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff to speculate, but I, I do think Simmons remains at the start, but I do think ultimately he will be out of Philadelphia sooner rather than later. Yeah. And I think the Ben Simmons, his choice words of like not wanting to play for the trailblazers and Raptors and wanting to be in like a California uh, team. I think that really tanked his value, soured a lot of fans on him because around like the draft time when this, like, this trade was like being proposed as well, I was open to it. Cause I was like, Hey, if we get Suggs, keep OG and then have Ben Simmons like that could be a pretty good like young big three to like move on with the franchise but after his like words about not wanting to play and stuff I've been pretty hesitant and kind of just want people that want to be in the city yeah that's another good point exactly you want character guys who enjoy the city and not want to just leave after their contracts up yeah exactly yeah like Scotty Barnes is already you know learning Toronto slang and seems like he's fitting right in here like a dirty shirt I think he's going to be a fan favorite uh pretty much right away when the season starts thanks for watching subscribe here so you never miss the best clips from stretch the floor hit the links in the description below to find us on all podcast platforms and follow us on instagram